Here's problem 26, 14. In the figure, if C1 is equal to 50 microfarads, C2 is 30 microfarads, C3 is 36 microfarads, and C4 is 12 microfarads, the voltage of the battery is 30 volts, what is the total energy stored by capacitor C3? All right, so we have 50 microfarads here, 30 microfarads here, 36 microfarads, and 12 microfarads, and the voltage of the battery is 30 volts. All right, um, if we were looking for energy stored, then we want to find either the charge on that C3 or the voltage across it because then we can use one of the energy formulas. We have energy stored is one-half CV squared or Q squared divided by 2 times C or one-half QV. Either one of these three forms would find us the energy stored on the capacitor and in particular if we actually knew what the capacitance was then we'd want to use one of these two forms, one-half CV squared or Q squared over 2C. So we need to find the voltage or the charge associated with that third capacitor. All right, so that's our plan. Let's simplify the circuit a little bit. We have a 50 and a 30 in parallel and a 36 and a 12 in parallel. So adding those together means that our new circuit looks like this, 80 microfarads here, 48 microfarads over here, and a 30 volt battery. Now it's pretty clear then, looking at this, that the 80 microfarads and the 48 microfarads are in series, so we want our C equivalent to be that series combination, product over the sum, 80 times 48 over 80 plus 48 will be what? If I calculate that, that comes out to 30 microfarads. So now our final circuit simply looks like this. A 30 microfarad equivalent capacitance with a 30 volt battery. Okay, so far so good. If we find the charge on this equivalent capacitance, Q equivalent would be C equivalent times its voltage, Q equals CV, then that charge would also be the same as on the series combination of the 80 with the 48. So we want to go that direction. So that this Q equivalent would be equal to 30 um, microfarads times 30 volts, which would be 900 microcoulombs. That should also be the charge on the 48 microfarads because capacitors in series have the same charge and they have the same charge as their equivalent device. In this case, the charge on the equivalent capacitance. So the charge on the 48 microfarads is also 900 microcoulombs. That's good to know because now we could find the voltage on that 48 microfarads. Since Q equals CV, the voltage equals Q divided by C. The Q on the 48 divided by the 48 microfarads. So that is going to be 900 microcoulombs divided by 48 microfarads. Micro divided by micro will give us just plain old volts. So 900 divided by 48, 18.75 volts. That is the voltage on the 48 microfarads. Now the 48 microfarads is connected between the same two points in the circuit as this parallel combination of the 36 with the 12. So the voltage between those points is the same. And hence, you know, things in parallel have the same voltage and they have the same voltage as their equivalent device because they're connected between the same two points in the circuit. So that means that the voltage on the 36 microfarads is the same as the voltage on that equivalent 48 microfarads 
which is 18.75 volts. That's good to know because now we know the voltage on the capacitor C3 that we want to find. So the energy stored, which is one half times our capacitance times our voltage squared on this 36 microfarad capacitor is going to be equal to one half times 36 microfarads times 18.75 volts squared. And that's going to give us microjoules if we calculate that. And it's 6,328 microjoules. Or I could write that as 6.33 millijoules. That is the energy stored in C3, the 36 microfarad capacitor, 6.33 millijoules, or 6,328 microjoules. Answer.